possum I'm sorry I seem like a shady dude When times are hard for your family paying your lady dues You come so far having a happy family is daily news Man I miss you playing with me chasing me around in your baby shoes Hey y'all welcome back to my channel it's me Bossy And um, I'm here with another What I eat in a day on keto So um today's breakfast and before i go any further sometimes when i do these videos it might be a breakfast it might not it might jump right back right into some snacks because who knows if i want to eat breakfast that day and then maybe a dinner um so but this video i will have a breakfast it's a real simple breakfast and i am going to be trying out a new air fryer to make one of my breakfast uh meals or breakfast pieces i guess um but so i'm gonna just stand up and show you everything well i'll show you the air fryer in a minute but so um a company um called nush goods they sent me two boxes of their nush um mixed flavored cases these are like i don't know what they are they're made with organic flax and organic coconut oil um and they're just like Nush cakes, that's what I should say. Um, I have had some before, they are good, so I decided to have some for breakfast. Um, six come in a box of the variety mix pack, so you get banana nut cake, you get blueberry cake, carrot spice, peanut butter cake, cherry almond cake and pineapple mango cake and that was in both boxes so i think i want to have the banana either the banana nut or the blueberry this one is two net carbs for the whole thing this is just three net carbs but i think i'm gonna have one of those with some whipped cream on top um yes you can do whipped cream on keto um it's not a lot of carbs in it but i'm only adding a little dollop to the top probably with some walnuts on top of that um and i think i'm having some eggs and bacon so <clears throat> that's gonna be my breakfast but let me show you what i'm gonna make my bacon in and hopefully my bacon comes out how i want it to come out so i'm going to and i don't know if it's going to focus but that's as good as it's gonna get uh, I was sent from Bagot, I think, Bagot, 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 I don't know if I'm saying it, if I'm saying it right, if I'm saying it wrong, I apologize, but I was sent this air fryer, um, they wanted to send it to me just to see how I like it, um, it looks very pretty, I can't say that much. Um, it has a timer from 0 to 60 minutes. Temperature ranges from 180 to 380. Basket um, capacity is 3.7 quarts. And the watts is 1,500 watts. So, they sent me this. Um, it's I got the black one, which is really cool because pretty much every uh, appliance I have is black and, or black and gray. Um, so, I guess you can just make a variety of things from donuts, baked potatoes, chicken, pizza, fries, whatever. This thing looks really good. I know it's dishwasher safe and detachable. You can do multi-function. It has like a digital screen. Um, it's like the family size. So, this is pretty cool. So, uh, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and take it out of here. And another good thing, it comes with the air fryer instruction manual and then air fryer recipes. So that's good to have if you want to know how to make something in your air fryer. These two booklets come in handy. So per usual, you guys know I eat just the Oscar Mayer turkey bacon. So I'm going to make about how many do I want? Because these are zero carb. So I think I'm going to do about three pieces of turkey bacon. Okay, y'all, so I cooked my bacon for the seven minutes. It says in because this is touch drink screen, if I didn't say. So we're just going to go ahead and open it. And look at my bacon. 
Now, if you like your bacon a little crispy, oh yeah, this is nice. If you like your bacon a little crispier, you can cook it a little longer, which I think I kind of want to cook it just a tad bit longer. Okay, y'all, so I'm making some chili for dinner. Keto. I have ground beef, pink Himalayan salt, garlic powder, onion powder, cumin, chili powder, oregano, some tomato sauce, some uh, crushed diced peppers, some um, tomato paste, if it focuses, which it, this camera's acting crazy. I got some green uh, pepper, and then I have some onion as well. So I'm just gonna get to cutting this stuff up get my seasonings ready and make this keto chili also just before I let y'all know I'm adding some Worcestershire sauce or however you say it this is one carb for one teaspoon and then I have my avocado oil that I think I'm gonna cook my onions and peppers in and uh, yeah now we can start so the first thing I'm gonna do is take a little bit of avocado oil to saute my onion and green pepper in and someone's at the door so this was all the onion and the green pepper that i use i didn't want a whole bunch because i'm making me a small individual chili so and you don't even have to put onion and green pepper i just choose to so i'm just going to let these cook until they're nice and soft so right now i'm just grinding my meat i'm gonna put all of those seasonings that I showed y'all in my meat after I drain it. I'm gonna add my veggies that I got back there. And we are gonna just mix everything together. Well, I'll say this. I'm gonna drain my meat, then I'm gonna season my meat. And then, once I transfer my meat to the pot, then I'll add like the Chili, diced chili, the tomato sauce and tomato paste and Worcestershire. Worcestershire. And that'll be it for real. Not hard at all. Okay, y'all, so now Chili's here. I got my big cup of Quick Trip ice water. I love Quick Trip ice water, so I'm about to drink this. I need to sip because my mouth is sort of parched. Let's taste this chili. Woo. Let's get cheese, let's get sour cream, let's get green onion, let's get it all. Here we go. First time making keto chili.
Y'all, this is amazing. Great for a cold weather. Chili is my must have in the fall time and winter. So yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Please make sure to comment, write, and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next one. It's mm. good.